everybody. All right, we are loaded and headed to Keysby, New Jersey. Which is 2,366 miles. Oh, wow, it's hot. 91 degrees.
everybody. Oh boy, oh boy. It took a long time to get that ELD connected to the truck. I had to go underneath the dash, which I should have filmed it. Yeah. I had to go underneath the dash, take the whole thing apart, and then disconnect it, reconnect it. Yeah. What a pain in the behind. Alright, where's that? Uh, I'm still gonna get a uh, cat scale here. Better be safe than sorry.
By the way, the local time here is 12.21 p.m. The temperature is 95 degrees. Continuing our journey to Keysby, New Jersey, 2,374. something I would like to share with you. We recently lost uh, a good friend in Sheboygan, one of the Filipino members or community. Granted, she's been, uh, you know, she's, I don't know how old she is. She's got to be at least 70, I think. Anyway, she was complaining of a very slight pain on her chest 
and her she she lives with her daughter. Her daughter works at night shift, so basically she sleeps all day long, goes to work at night. And from what I take it is that she didn't take much of it. She didn't want to bother her daughter to go to the hospital or anything, right? A day or two goes by and the chest pain is still there and getting worse. So, she uh, woke up her daughter and daughter drove her to the hospital checked the check her in at the ER but you know how ERs are here unless you're bleeding or you know some broken bones you might have to sit there for an hour or two she was complaining that she can't breathe and I don't know they, nobody just she sat there for a while at the ER and uh, she passed away She had a massive heart attack. So the lesson that we all need to learn is that, you know, one of the reasons that they drove to the hospital and did not call the ambulance is, let's face it, ambulance in the United States are extremely expensive, ridiculously expensive. And they, you know, the daughter didn't think much of the severity of the uh, medical condition. She did not want to have a expensive uh, ambulance ride bill so she drove her there looking at hindsight my according to my wife is that she probably would have survived if they called the ambulance because those paramedics can usually detect you know, if somebody's having a heart attack or the severity of the medical condition or and all that stuff. And to make matters worse a little bit is they went to a a hospital that's not really equipped for massive big, you know, medical emergencies. It's the kind of hospital where if you want to have a knee surgery or an appendicitis or mend some broken bones or, you know, nothing like the Nothing like the emergency scene that we see on TV where all those technicians just, they are all over you, trying to revive you. I don't know how many times I've been to an ER. And chances are you, you just sit there you you sit there trying to fill up the the forms ridiculous amount of paperwork while you're in pain 
and then the lines are long. I, I don't even know why they call it ER. I mean, just, I am so offended by that name, ER, emergency room. ER. There's nothing ER about it. But that's the lesson that I want you guys to. Snake River, IB Kareem. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the bridge. This is the bridge that I've been talking about. That they uh, do jumping, uh, base jump problem. Yes, 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 yes. It is, it is. I wish I had time to stop right there and fly the drone, but we gotta go. Oh, that would have been nice. Well, we gotta go. So anyway, in closing, if you ever have an emergency with your loved ones, you gotta, you gotta consider that. I mean, you can, you're the only one that can really make that determination. You know, before this happened, before my wife told me this, I had the same attitude of, man, I'm gonna drive myself there, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive you over there. because of the ambulance cost but something something you know a little bit of a different uh, what do they call that point of view I suppose all right I'll catch you guys later peace all right ladies and gentlemen Good afternoon, greetings, entering the beautiful state of Utah. There she is, folks, once again. Life elevated. Welcome to Utah. The local time here is 2.05 p.m. Temperature is at 96 degrees. Continuing our journey to Keysby, New Jersey, but we are only going to be able to drive to a rest area on Interstate 80, which is uh, Colville, Colville, Utah. There's a rest area there that um, I plan to spend my 10 hour break because it's also a very beautiful uh, landscape I think it's gonna be a beautiful place to fly a drone we'll see yesterday when I attempted to park there I could not find one single spot available and I had to, I had to PC Safe Haven to the next one, which was about 24 miles away. But anyway, oh, you you want to know how far Keysby is from here, don't you? All right, I'm gonna accommodate you that. Keysby, New Jersey is. Survey says 2,279 miles. That's a lot of road. Alright, we'll see you a little bit later. Peace. Hey everybody, John, if you get here, look at this beautiful place. 
All right, we are down to 12 miles or uh, rest area target for today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where Interstate 84 ends, going east, and this is where Interstate 80, going east and west, um, starts right here. This is the intersection where about northeast of Salt Lake City, to your right is way down there is Salt Lake. And this is the one that I kind of wanted you guys to see. There's a rest area two miles from here. And that's where I planned to hang out for 10 hours. I hope they are they have available parking. I've got enough hours to make it to Wyoming. That's no problem. But I thought a drone would be really, uh, really be nice through here. But the Lord is in charge, right? You give it, you take it. Keep your eyes on the road, Johnny. Be good. Not those, huh? not those rocks. Texas, so, yeah. Alright, we'll be right back. <laughs> 